Richard, why more living time will bring more happiness? You know, it's relative. You know what? You can go die then, dude. Life isn't for you? Fine. Die. Go for it. I like being alive. I'm sorry if that bothers you. <laughs> Somebody asked a very good question about sci vibe, but I'm actually tired of answering questions. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, fuck it. I mean, okay. How do you look at the difference between the values you present in sci -Vive compared to conventional morality? It seems to be very focused on the self compared to sacrificing yourself for others. I don't think conventional morality says to sacrifice yourself for others very much at all. Um, I think that is a rare thing and usually a goddamn stupid thing. In general, others do better by you doing better. In general, others do worse by you doing worse. So this concept of self-sacrifice is vastly overrated. The majority of the world is synergy and the rising tide rising all ships. It's a very small-minded, zero-sum game idea that someone has to lose in order for you to win. So I think that you, I think you've, one, mislabeled what conventional morality is, two, misidentified what optimal, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, effective altruism looks like. So if you're, if you're looking, if you're doing cost benefit analysis and, and, and looking at life through an effective altruism lens, self-sacrifice pretty much sucks.